Alright, so, welcome back to the Lost Begotten channel. Howdy, peoples. Where a very strong indicator of everything I've ever said being, you know, right, has just occurred. Woohoo! And been covered through what I'm assuming is one of the RT or the, the next RT affiliated anchors who are going to quit. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do this anymore. It's not right. We won't be mouth puppets of a dictatorship. I'm the head of an evil corporation. <laughs> that was horrible. Sorry. Hmm. Well, not yours, mine. Um, okay. So you remember the whole they'll be lined up against the wall and shot thing? Well, see, what happens before that is you have to uh, unify your own populace. And by unify, I mean, you know, anybody who disagrees with you. Bang, bang. <laughs> well, so I'm just going to go ahead and, um, you know, you, you, you might have noticed the title by now. And um, I hope anybody who works for Google who tries to censor my videos by demonetizing things where I actually discuss stuff that matters that everybody needs to know, I, I hope you understand that, you know, I didn't speak for them when they came for them. I didn't speak for them they didn't, when they came for them, blah, blah, blah. And then they came for you, and there was nobody left to speak for you. Okay. There has been no time in history in which such a cliché could be more apparently enacted. There could be no, no other time in history where you could have less of an excuse for seeing the warning signs. Am I right, baby? Right. Okay, so here we go. Wake up! The Russian State Duma, that's their parliament, they passed a bill that gives the FSB, the Federal Security Service, more power to use their weapons, including firing them into protest crowds. Well, Russia's FSB, they can shoot women, children, disabled protesters, all in the name of national security. People in cases of a terror act or armed attack on civilians and law enforcement, uh, security service officers, they also have the right to enter private property. All of this to, quote, maintain public security in emergency situations and during mass civil unrest. So what we... This is right after they have officially, publicly labeled NATO as a security threat to Russia. Hear them saying, Joe, is that in cases of protesting, FSB has the right to shoot women, children, disabled <coughs> people at, at will. Yeah, because I'm so sure that a disabled person at a protest is really that threatening. Right. J just saying. Oh. Unbelievable. So they've approved this bill. It still has to be passed by the upper house, though, and Putin. That's right. It's gone through three phases, and it hasn't It hasn't been signed by the president. It hasn't gone through the upper house. This is the lower house, and the lower house is known for, for putting out these bills you know, that are, that are like this, that garner a lot of attention because they raise red flags, and it still has a ways to go. But just the fact that they're saying that they can shoot protesters, that's they're a problem. They're definitely using this, in my opinion, to just... Not to mention, for those of you that haven't been following, one of the main types of protests that go on in Russia at this point in time is for LGBT rights. Yeah. And they are already allowed, quote-unquote allowed, to beat the crap out of protesters. What was it? The, the hoo-ha riot? Pussy riot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eh, say it for what it is. My name is Pussy Riot, okay? <laughs> yeah, they, they, they smacked them around, didn't even call them Susan. Actually, I saw a video not that long ago. Um, somebody, one of our friends on Facebook, had posted it and was talking about what protesting for rights in Russia is like. And it was a whole bunch of gay and lesbian, you know, LGBT protests that were going on. 
and there were old men, I mean, like, old men mm -hmm. with canes that were beating the crap out of teenagers who were protesting for their rights. I mean, <laughs> really? I'm talking about, like, if you sneezed on this dude, you'd probably break his hip. And he's trying to beat the crap out of a teenager who's gay. So. They miss that old Stalin regime basically curb protesters. Um, we've seen it happen in many other countries. Let's not forget uh, that Russia is looking at... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do a little bit of damage control. This other anchor is kind of speaking, you know, the truth. And that, you know, oh, we got we to gotta go ahead and bring America and other countries into this. What? <laughs> Who is like unto the king of the north? You know? Your mama's butthole. Who, who even compares to the Soviet Union? Again. Oh, wait, you've been told that, that America can. America is superior to everything in every way. America's shit doesn't stink, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's why you should hate America. And uh, that makes a lot of sense. Because that's not true to begin with. So, it's a lie on top of a lie. Anyway. Woohoo, lie pudding. <laughs> it's like a lie sandwich. A lie casserole. Layer upon layers. Bullshit. A lily cheesesteak. Yeah. Head to hosting the World Cup. They did the same in Brazil. They uh, said that protesters would go to jail for up to 30 years. Now, in Russia, they're saying they have the right to. Jail, being shot. Just kill them. So I imagine that they're using the fear of yeah. <laughs> See, what, what's fucked up is that they already kill dissidents. They already shoot protesters. Okay, so if they're talking about needing to pass a law that says it's okay to do so, they might be getting ready to kind of kick it up a notch. Clean house. Yeah. Imagine they're using the fear of the people, the fear of terrorism, uh, terror attacks, just to feed their own personal agendas and stop protests from happening. Right. Well, we've seen here in the U.S. where, in the name of national security interest, that a lot of personal rights and liberties are forfeited. This takes this, in my opinion, a step further. You know, we have yet to I cover see. a case here on the lip where a protest movement has garnered. You know, this is taking us back to like the civil rights era, where you saw police officers beating, maiming, and, and, and harming to the point of murder protesters. So. So, you know, really archaic way of, of thinking here, and, and, and you hear the argument, even in Bruce's address, you know, saying that we're not the old yeah, USSR, year down here. you know, they're new and improved, they've embraced democratic values, but at the same time, it's like, you can't shoot protesters with no due process. No, it definitely makes it seem more like this is a return of the Cold War and that Russia is regressing, not progressing. You don't say. Really? Uh, and using these kinds of tactics just to feed their own agendas. Right. Well, the FSB, a former KGB, they've rebranded themselves now to the FSB. Gotta watch out for that. Rebranding. Oh, the Cold War is over <coughs> because the FSB's rebranded. <laughs> they How two. naive! How naive were we? You changed two Are letters you? out of the three. Right? <laughs> they didn't even change all of the letters. Right. <laughs> and people just, oh, oh, Putin couldn't possibly be behind 9 11 because he called George, he was the first person to call George Bush. Personally, that He was, was sitting there him. waiting by a TV with the phone just in a fucking cold sweat, just like. Did the fucking plane hit yet? Did the fucking plane hit yet? I need to call this asshole. Personally, that made him suspect number one in my book. Right. The first motherfucker to call. But I, you know what? I had that. I had that. I had that thought. I had that thought. I had that thought. Yeah. No, I had that thought too on 9/11. Mm-hmm. As soon as I heard about that, I'm like, but but wait. Man, okay. Cold War's over. Cold War's supposed to be over. The coal bombing. How the fuck did Al Qaeda give a shit about the USS Cole? Like, but then I then I started seeing this subversion plot, like like you know the quote truthers did, and that the truther plot actually got me distracted from <coughs> the obvious enemy and that's where I'm trying to reach out to people on here 
is because after we all got kind of sold by these websites we had never seen before on the quote truther 9-11 plot um, you know that the administration most likely was behind it some elements within the administration anyways then the coverage of the conspiracy seemed to gain legitimacy and nobody ever suspected but it gained legitimacy because they started talking about it on RT and just big forehead smack come on that's how we all got that's if, if you're an old school truther okay then you know that what I'm saying is true you know it's true and if you're a new school truther you need to talk to your old school truther buddies because they'll be able to tell you and don't go if you if you want to get the information out of somebody don't don't tell them your foregone conclusion okay ask them about how RT was the one to break the story you know how we should trust Russia and get a truth or talking about how we should trust Russia and, and you know <sighs> see if you like that salad hmm. you can just go ahead and keep tossing it uh, this bill, uh, it has to be approved, as my colleague said, through the Parliament's upper house, then on for President Putin to sign it. That has yet to happen, but if it does, FSB officer, officers can legally shoot protesters. And that is fucked up. Right. People bring their children to protests. I've seen it. Yeah. Whole families go out to protest something that they truly deeply deep down believe in so coming soon to an episode near you we're going to be talking about <laughs> this uh crap down here it's going to cover up the whore so i don't zoom in on her but, oh look now fancy that that the person who's basically the most likely candidate for the god of war happens to have one of them immortal time traveler type photo things. Oh. Thanks everybody. Like and subscribe so the Matrix doesn't have you. Do 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 wah wah wah. Later.